Hey, Ryan here from Modular Racks. This is part two of the EcoFlow battery pack and the amazing things that this thing does, the technology they crammed into it. Last video was all about the inverter. This one has the same one. This is a different model. This is the River Max. It's a higher watt hour battery pack. But this video is about charging. How exciting can charging be? Well, maybe not much to most, but to me, I think this is super cool. And for those of you shopping for battery packs, I'm hoping you might think this is interesting. So let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing is the speed at which this thing charges. Now, it's fast, fast enough that I gotta get through this video uh, in probably one take before this thing is fully charged. One hour from zero to 80% on a regular wall outlet. An hour and a half, 1.6 hours to 100%. That's something you don't get in any other battery pack as far as I'm aware of. And it actually changes with each one of these. So in the regular river, which is about a 280 watt hour, you get about a 230 watt charge rate. On this one, the river max 580 watt hours, it's drawn about 490 watts. In the River Pro, which is like a 700 and something watt hour, you're probably gonna get like a 600 watt draw. Pretty amazing and charging that is just incredible. Makes you be able to top this thing up at a rate that again, game changing, haven't seen anywhere else before. Okay, I mean, I'm serious about having to get this done. Like 10 minutes, this thing was at 49%, it's already at 63, just cause I've got it plugged in. The charging at a fast rate, I mean, again, that's probably the biggest thing. I think that's amazing. But as EcoFlow does, they don't just stop there. They've added more technology. And that is something called quiet charging. So this has a couple of amazing benefits. Number one, when this thing's charging at the rate it does, it's temperature controlled, the fans are gonna kick on. They're not on now, but it could make some noise. You might want it to not do that. So quiet charging drops that charge rate down to about 120 watts. And that seems to be consistent. I've tested that on the River and this River Max. I haven't done it on the Pro, but I believe it's about the same charge rate for all of them. That means the temperature stays down and the fan doesn't turn on. But here's a benefit. We just had somebody ask us, hey, I've got a vehicle. This one was a Jeep Wrangler. It only has 150 watt inverter in it. I can't charge this thing. I have to use the 12 volt accessory plug and that is slower, only about 70 or 80 watts. Well, in quiet mode, you can take these things and detune them down for the fast charging, get faster than you would with the 12 volt accessory plug, but not go into overload by this thing trying to draw four or 600 watts from your small inverter. So again, just one of those things they've thought of that is amazing and I don't think is available in any other battery packs. All right, here we are, full burn charge rate. We're almost 500 watts. That's the highest I've seen it. 35 minutes till this thing's at full capacity. Here's one other small thing about the charging. It's small, but I really like it. This cable, if you look down here, it's just a plug and a cable. There's no inverter or converter box, a big bulky thing like every other charge pack I've ever seen. So this cable, super easy to store, roll up and put away. Okay, so we've talked about the AC charging and the cool benefits that this thing has, but the next thing is it's got some tricks up its sleeve with DC charging, so it just keeps giving. And what that is, is you can set within the app your DC charge rate from, I believe, four, six, eight, and 10 amps. What that means, that means that you can adjust for your vehicle and what your draw is. If you have a pile of accessories running off your power outlet in your vehicle, your 12 volt power outlet, you might not be able to draw eight amps, which is the standard, by the way. You might have to drop it to six, so you're not popping fuses. Or if you've hardwired an accessory plug into the bed of your truck or the back of your Jeep, and you know you've got heavy duty wiring there, so it can stand higher draw, you can crank this up to 10 amps and you can actually get that 120, 130 watt charge into this thing off that accessory plug. So how about we hop into the app and I'll show you how to control some of these things. One other benefit about the EcoFlow that I think is worthwhile mentioning, that is this, the fact that this comes with your 12 volt DC charger. So, you know, this is a traveling style battery pack. You're gonna to wanna to use this thing on the road. The fact you don't have to pay extra to plug this thing into your car, I think is a real benefit. So let's plug this in and let's see how DC charging works and how 
the technology they've added for this is just another little thing that you get with EcoFlow. Let's jump in, see how that works. All right, so we're currently at 79%. We will unwrap our cord here. And then underneath here, you've got a little flap on the side. This is where you've got your standard AC plug-in. And this is also where you would plug in your solar panel if you were using that, it's the same plug. We're gonna take our plug for our DC charging, and we're gonna take this over to our 12 volt, 120 watt max power output in the back of our vehicle here and plug it in. Now, we currently have this set to the eight amp max charge rate for the DC input. Now, recently that just changed. It used to be able to go up to 10 amps, but I'm guessing they had some problems with things getting too hot. So now eight amps is the max. So this is gonna settle out, I believe, around 90 some odd watt input. There we are, 95, 96 watts of input is what that's getting put in. Let me jump into the app, show you how that works, should you wanna make adjustments to that. You're connected to the EcoFlow via its Wi-Fi. You can see in the top corner of my screen that our Wi-Fi is showing no connectivity. That's because we're not actually online. We're just connected directly to the EcoFlow. So we're gonna hit the app button here. It's showing that we're 78% charged. It's showing the temperature of the battery, and then it's showing our input is currently 95 watts. If we go over to the top corner, hit the settings button, here's where you can make all of your adjustments. And here is where you can change the DC input should you have an accessory plug that's not capable of the eight amps. So car input, we'll click that, and you can choose six amps. If we do that, we're gonna go back and we're gonna have a look at what our input's gonna be. That should start coming up here very shortly. There it is, and it's gonna to top out at, looks like about, let's say 70 watts. So there you are, you're losing about 20 or so watts in charge input. But if your vehicle is not capable of putting out that full output because you've got other accessories plugged in, it's got uh, thinner wiring going to it, you can lower that down so you're not blowing fuses or running into problems. I'm gonna set ours back to eight amps. And that's it for running the DC charging in the EcoFlow app. All right, so there we have it. That is my part two of the amazing cool things that EcoFlow has done to make their battery pack different from everybody else's and something that you should consider looking at if you're in the market for a power pack. So this EcoFlow, they're in store, they're on our website now. This particular one, 580 watt, battery pack, 600 watt pure sine wave inverter with X boost. And again, if you haven't seen what that's about, check out our other video part one on the EcoFlow. It's an amazing feature. This guy here runs for $7.99. I think it's great value. Super excited about these things. And there's still more neat features about these that we're gonna get into in more depth in other videos. So I hope this has helped you. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's been educational. If you got any questions, please make mention below. We'll hit them up right away. We'll get back to you and uh, appreciate you guys watching.